All right, Dwayne here. PhoenixTypewriter.com. Going to uh, show a little bit about this uh, character turn on this electric and Sperry Remington 101. So this is kind of what your parts look like inside the machine. We got the return pinion, the tab pinion, return spring, torque spring. But what we're dealing with, and then this sits up a little higher and that pad engages this piece. What we're going to deal with, I think, is this piece here. And it mounts into the machine. And you see this part, and this part does detach from here. It's just a spring loaded piece that can be manipulated off of here if you wanted to. It just comes off. You know, pretty easy. So that piece will separate from that, but it's got a it's got a pin spot there. I think what you're talking about, or what we're going to talk about, is this little spacer that's right here, and this one is deteriorated. It's just crumbled on me. That's the way most of these are now. They're <laughs> it just fell out of here. It's funny. It was in there, and it was sort of working. But it just fell out right here. It's a white piece this right here. So now this piece will have a tendency to turn by itself. Which you don't want. There's some of the residue from that washer right there. That's where it was. There's still still some pieces in there. But it doesn't really matter. What I'm gonna show you is you know, get it about I don't know, halfway to start with. Instead of replacing this with a, one of these pieces, which I have plenty of, but I haven't tried this yet. I'm going to try it right now. I have a feeling these are as brittle as the one that was in there. Well, that's not bad. That's got a little bit of life in it, I guess. It's kind of brittle. Let's try this white one. I don't like it. It just it's the same one but it's these are brittle, you know, and they're not maybe last won't last. I have been for uh, ten years or more just putting a a nut on here. So that piece falls out and this loosens up or falls through. Um just screw back in here like this. This is a very common nut. Just find a little nut with the same threads and put it on on here and tighten it up like that and that will be your lock nut That's all you gotta do you can do this while it's in the machine no troubles looks like it's uh whatever size you nut it is looks like it's a 5 16 so you would just tighten that up against the the spring piece here and it's that's it, it's locked. You can probably get a little, little tighter. That's pretty tight. Okay, so this piece is in the machine. And uh, it engages the back of this. It's going to connect right back here. Right there. So when it's in your machine and running, holes at and this adjustable right here of course and that's an adjustment you'll have to figure out if it's too tight if it's too tight you got to loosen it so it doesn't engage the paw or the, the spring clutch you got to back it off till it disengages by maybe one or two turns of this and when it engages it pulls it tight disengage engage disengage and that rubs against this piece right there, the first pinion. If this if this little spring has a it's silver right here on the edge where this engages, it's it's worn out and might need to be replaced pretty soon. This is a new one, so it's the same looks the same all the way through. 
So that's it. Hopefully that helps. If not, let me know and I'll try something else. But the best thing I can tell you about this piece is to put a nut on it. I'm not sure where you'll find that nut. It's a very common one. I've got a lot of them. If you need one, maybe I'll send it overseas to you. And that connects down there. And when you hit return, it returns, disengages. This has a little bit of pivot spot. All right, that's our uh, repair video of the day. PhoenixTypeWriter.com. Good day.